Hi friends, welcome back to Ness's Nook. Today I am going to attempt, and hopefully it turns out because, you know, I, my, I don't really have faith in my baking. <laughs> yeah, I've never been a baker. I mean, I've made a few cakes here and there throughout my life, but usually always store-bought and usually always actually store-bought pre-made. But anyways, I'm going to attempt this today. Today is my husband's birthday. He thought he was going to have the day off earlier, but you know, you know how trucking goes, so that's not going to happen. But I am going to be doing something a little bit different because I wanted to try this out and to see how well this would work um, as far as um, doing this for futures um, because everybody knows eggs are just like really expensive. But I did actually have, I do have, um, probably 100 eggs minimum. I don't know exactly how many, but um, what I did is you take two tablespoons or teaspoons of eggs and then one teaspoon of water. So this is the, the, the eggs powder itself. Okay. I go ahead and bring you down here. This is kind of a mess down here. So I took like my little measuring cup and I did that three times. So while I'm getting this stuff around, I'm going to go ahead and get the eggs working and to get them liquid. See, I was under the assumption I would just throw the powder in, but then I started thinking about it. I'm like, no, why would I do that? Because the eggs have like a liquid, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, that's how quickly eggs come back. I mean, obviously, you know, if you were probably doing it <clears throat> not in a cake, <clears throat> excuse me, you want it to be a little bit smoother and you keep mixing it. But I'm going to go ahead and just push this off to the side for a minute. And um, what I'm going to be doing is a white cake mix, which I'm really surprised because my husband likes chocolate. So I don't know why he asked for a white cake, but he says, I want a white cake. So it's his birthday, so that's what he gets. So I'm going to be doing two and a quarter cups of flour. And I have done the same recipe in a um, in a uh, the jars. That's not how that looks like. That's a third. Did I do this wrong? Yeah, I grabbed one wrong one. Hold on for a minute. <clears throat> Probably helps if I pay attention. Hey. All right, and then here is. The quarter, okay. Throw this kind of like over here for a minute. Then it asked for one and a half cups of sugar. So here's going to be my half, and then I'll use the same one I used for my flour. All right, and there's that. And it's asking for three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, so I'll go ahead and throw that in here. One, two, three, and a half. Then it asks for one teaspoon of salt, and what I'm going to be using is the pink Himalayan salt. And what I'm going to do, before I start mixing any of the other stuff to it, I'm going to just give this a good stir, kind of a little bit combine that. And I was going to put this in my KitchenAid, but I'm like, you know what? Not everybody has the gadgets I have, and I get that. And I just thought it would be easier if I try my best to make like a homemade homemade that um, hopefully my husband can be proud of. You know, because like I said, I'm not I'm not the baker. Um, I asked him, I said, well, do you want store-bought frosting or do you want me to try to attempt to make some frosting? Because back in the day, I was actually one of my neighbors. She was very active in 4-H, and there was a lot of us girls in the neighborhood. And she got us in the 4-H. And back in the day, I had a... She taught us how to sew and all this other stuff, which, of course, that doesn't help because I can't sew to save my life. But anyways... Um, she actually had us go into the 4-H fair, and I had made a 
chocolate mayonnaise cake. My mom used to have a recipe for it. And it had chocolate peanut butter uh, icing. And I believe I actually won first place. So that was kind of cool. So that's mixed. So then what you need to do is add a half a cup of uh, butter here, softened butter. This is messy. Take the next off this plate. So I mean I can do these things except you know what I'm saying my daughter she likes to bake more than I do and um, my ex-husband liked to bake more than I do so I would always let them do their thing and it's uh, two te teaspoons of oil I was having such a hard time getting that lid open I'll just go ahead and pour that in here now anybody that doesn't know, this is actually, you know, the coffee scoop is that, so that makes it kind of nice. And then it's going to be uh, one and a half cups of milk. And then it's going to be one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to kind of like throw some in there. He likes vanilla anyways. I'm going to give these eggs a little bit, one more of a stir. See, they've gotten a little bit thicker. And pour the eggs in there. I hope that works because, you know, I have so many, and whenever they go on sale, if this does work, um, whenever I'm able to get um, eggs cheaper, I am going to freeze dry them. I did make them once in my dehydrator, and we tried to reconstitute it to make scrambled eggs and that was an epic fail in my eyes I was not I was not happy with the way it turned out however I don't know why it would not work you know if you did the right temperatures you have to do the right temperatures on eggs and stuff like that um, but you could probably easily put them through the dehydrator I see that on people on my Facebook groups and this is why, my friends, why I use my KitchenAid. I don't like the lumps. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in a uh, stainless steel, uh, like lasagna pan, cake pan. And I'm going to put that over there in my June. And it's going to probably take approximately 25 to 30 minutes to um, actually go ahead and... Uh, get this cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and finish stirring this up and I'll get the pan out and I'll bring you right back. Alright, and I don't know for sure if you guys saw in my video the other day, I had bought this little fancy schmancy like thing that could help you uh, oil your pans. So this is just vegetable oil in here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the sides, do the bottom. And you just kind of like squeeze it out a little bit. And then just kind of like, you know, make it like you would normally. And then whatever's left, you can just drop back down in there and that works out very nice. I did end up just getting the whisk and um, got the the cake done here and I'll go ahead and put that about there I don't know if you can still see I'm trying to get used to this camera my husband got me for our anniversary our anniversary is next month or I mean, next month she's all peace it is December Vanessa anyways um, so he got me a uh, camera here that I can do my videos with and I got him a pellet stove or pellet grill because he likes to barbecue. So we've been eyeing a pellet grill for a while now. And um, we finally managed to save up enough money and I got him one. So I'll go ahead and I have the June preheating over there at 350. So what I'll do is I'll bring you back once this is actually out of the oven. 
and cooled and I'll show you what I'm going to do to actually go ahead and get it uh, frosted. Alright, I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and just use some of the uh, cream cheese frosting from Walmart. And what we have left I'll just go ahead and just put in the refrigerator because I'm going to be trying to make um, these little mini cupcakes for my husband to take to his lunch. I bought some of these little containers and hopefully that will work. I don't know for sure. But this ended up taking 25 minutes in the June. Now I do have, I did put that on the convection. I did preheat the oven or preheat the, the June. Um, so this should work out pretty good. Um, hopefully, like I said, took a little corner taste of this to see what I could taste of it, which was hardly nothing. And um, <laughs> hopefully it still will be tasty for him tonight. And then I'm going to be making um, a whole chicken dinner. Um, I'm about ready to put that in the crock pot right now. As soon as I get done with this, because I'm on lunch. And um, I will be able to give him a nice dinner with some mashed potatoes and some gravy and stuffing and a cake. So um, tomorrow I guess we're going to take my daughter out. Um, she never, she's so busy all the time. Um, she never did get a chance, I never did get a chance to take her out for her birthday dinner because her weekends and it just, things just happened and it, so she didn't get it. But So this is the cake. But tomorrow I guess we're going to go over to um, Red Robin because my husband will get a free uh, hamburger. And um, then, of course, and we're back to cooking in the kitchen. So thank you very much for stopping by. Um, hopefully my husband will love this cake and uh, will enjoy it. So um, definitely try that out. It was pretty simple to make. I try to make some of these things that are not um, actually store-bought. So hopefully this will work out good for you. Thank you, and you have a very blessed and wonderful day.